What's up, what's up, it's you, it's your boy Mixo here, and I'm back with another football prediction. So today I'll be providing you my predictions from, you know, the day, you know, Monday, January 29. So I'll be picking 10 games and I'll be providing you my safest betting market picks for every single game. So it is up to you to pick out or drop any of my predictions into or out of your belly slip. So as we always do, the rule is for you to pick only the predictions that you argue with. And my suggestion for you is to pick about a maximum of five games from these 10 picks that I'm going to provide you in this video. So guys, yesterday I have provided you, you know, 20 games. And from those 20 predictions, I think we were able to win 17. You know, we were able to win 17 or to get the exact or, you know, I mean the correct score of 70 games. And I have received a lot of winning tickets from you guys in the Telegram. So I just want to congratulate for everyone who was able to win from picking games from our yesterday's prediction. So guys, uh, and yesterday, as we always do, I have provided one game for you guys to predict in the comment section. And the match that I provided for you to predict in the comment section was a match from the England FA Cup. And it is a match between Newport and Manchester United. And as you can see here in the screen, the match ended by 4-2 by Manchester United winning the match. And there were many predictions in the comment section, as you guys always do. And from those predictions, only one person was able to, walk, to find the exact score of this match. So I just want to give a shout out for this person. So as you can see here in the screen, this is the only person who was able to predict the correct score of this match. So... Karimu Yahaya is the only person. So big up to you, my man. Shout out to you for predicting the exact score of this match. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but it is what it is, family. Big up to you, bro. And, you know, for today, I have another match for you guys to predict in the comment section as we always do. So for today, the match that I want you to predict in the comment section is a match from the Africa Cup of Nations. And it is a match between Senegal and Ivory Coast. So this is a match between the title defenders and the host of the competition. So I want you guys to predict the exact score of this match, okay? The correct score line of this match. What do you think will happen in this match? Who will win in what score line? Go down in the comment section right now and provide your exact score prediction for this match. And if you are able to find the exact score of this match, I will give you a shout out, all, you know, on my next video. You will, you deserve that. You deserve that. And if you are able, you know, to find the exact score of this match. So it is what it is. Without further ado, let's go to our today's prediction. As I told you for today, we have 10 games and pick only the predictions that you agree with. So uh, let's go. So the first match that I'm going to provide you is a match from the Portugal League. And it is a match between Sporting CP and Casa Pia. Looking at these two teams, you know, when we look their stage or their stand in the league table, Sporting is in the top of the league and they have eight, they have played 18 games so far and they were able to score 45 and they have considered only 19. And they were able to collect 46 points from these 18 games that they played so far in this league. And looking at Casapia, they are in the 30th place in the league and they have played 18 games and they were able to score only 19 goals in 18 matches and they have considered 26 and they were able to collect 19 points. So looking at their stand in the league table, we can simply understand Sporting is the better side. You know, they are in the top of the league and they are scoring too many goals in, uh, you know, per game and they are considering very, very, uh, you know, low amount of goal. That's like, you know, only one goal in you know in average in a game so i think sporting is the better side here even when we look their last match of you know the last five matches of sporting they have won four and they have lost only one game and the match that they lost was a match against braga and that was just only in one goal margin that they lost against braga and looking at the, the other four you know the four games you know they won by you know uh by scoring too many goals you know so i think they are in a very good form right now uh, so they are the better side here looking at the last five matches of casapia you know they have lost three and they were able to win uh, you know two so i think simply that uh, you know uh, the better side is the home team so when we look you know the last two matches between these two teams the most recent two matches you know sporting is the dominant side because they have you know won both of the last two matches that they played against casapia even though they were playing both these you know past two games away sporting still managed to win the match so 
I think I just want to go for the straight three-way market and to give a straight win for the home team, which is for Sporting. Because, you know, looking at the stats, they are the better side here. And I think they will win this much at home. So, Sporting or home to win is my pick for this particular game. And the amount of all for this market is 1.21. And the next match is a match from the Spain La Liga, and it is a match between Getafe and Granada. And looking at their, their stand in the league table, Getafe is in the 10th place in the league, and they have played 20 games, and they have you know they have scored 26, and they have considered 28, and they were able to collect 26 points from these 20 games they played. You know, they are not good, you know, they are not performing good, but, you know, when we see their performance in related to Granada, they are the better side because Granada is in the relegation zone already. They are in the 90th place in the league and they have played 21 games and they were able to score only 22 goals from these 21 games that they played and they have considered 42 and they were able to collect only 11 points from these 20, 21 games that they played so far in the league. So, you know, Getafe is the better side here. We can simply understand that they are not, both these teams are not performing good. At the, you know, you know, uh, uh, looking at the, their season season run so far, but but relatively, Getafe is the better side. When we look, you know, the last five matches of Getafe, they have lost three and they have won one and they have drawn one. You know, that is not uh, a good form, but relatively, they are doing well. You know. Uh, when we look Granada, Granada has lost four and they were able to win only one. So we can simply understand that, you know, Getafe is the better side. When we look, you know, the, you know, the four matches that Granada lost, in all of these four, four games that they lost, they haven't scored a single goal. They lost by nil. Look at the match against Atletico Madrid. They lost by one nil against Betis. They lost by one nil against Sevilla. They lost by three nil. Against Celta, they lost by 1-0. They are not scoring. This is not a team that is scoring goals. So, I think, you know, uh, the better side here is Getafe. So, I have two options for this, you know, this match, you know. Maybe Granada to score, our way to score under 1.5. Or the home team, which is Getafe to win or draw, is my pick for this match. You know, when we look the last, you know, the last match between these two teams, the match ended by 1-1 draw. Even though the match was held at the home ground of Granada. Still, Getafe managed to, you know, to get a point uh, from this match. So, I don't think Getafe will lose this match. So, home to win or draw is my pick for this match. Or, as an, as an alternative, you can use a Granada to score under 1.5 goal. But, my pick will be to go for the double chance mark and to give a double chance for the home team, which is for Getafe. So, home to win or draw is my pick for this particular game. And the amount of all for this market is 1.22. And the other match is a match from the Africa Cup of Nations. And this is the match that I provided for you to predict in the comment section. And this is a match between Senegal and Ivory Coast. And looking at these two teams, you know, when we look at the last five points of Senegal, they have, won, they have won four and have drawn only one game. So they are doing well. They are doing well, you know, so far in this competition because they haven't lost a game so far. And they have won all of the matches that they played. You know, they are doing very, very good. So, uh, looking at, you know, the uh, last five matches of, you know, Ivory Coast, this is a very unexpected result from them, you know, them hosting the AFCON. I don't expect them to lose, you know, 4 nil against Equatorial Guinea, uh, you know, uh, at home in front of their fans. So, but it is what it is. It is football. In football, anything can happen. Anything is bound to happen. So, Things happen in football, you know, this is crazy. This is a very tricky and unpredictable match, and, uh, you know, an unpredictable form of sport. So, uh, it is what it is, but still, I can simply say that, you know, the better side is Senegal because they have, you know, won almost all of the matches that they played so far in this, uh, you know, competition. But looking at Avericos, they have lost two, uh, you know, in their previous matches. So, I don't think, you know, Senegal will lose this match, you know, since they are the title defender. They are defending their title, so... I just want to go for, you know, the uh, the double chance market for the home team, which is for Senegal. Even if we look the last, you know, the most recent matches for between these two teams, the most recent match was a match which was held in 2023. And in that match, Senegal still managed to win the match by 1-0, even though they were playing away. They still managed to win against it's a very close by 1-0. So I just want to go and give a double chance for Senegal. So Senegal to win or draw 
or home to win or draw is my pick for this particular game and the amount of odd for this market is 1.3 and the other match is a match from the Italia Serie A and it is a match between Salernitana and Roma and looking at the stand uh, of these two teams in the league Roma is in the 8th place in the league and they have played to only one game so far and they were able to score 34 and they have considered 25 and they were able to collect 32 points from these 21 games they played and you know, uh, looking at Salernitana, they are in the bottom of the league. You know, they are in the relegation zone, and they have played 21 games so far, and they were able to score only 18 goals in 21 games, and they have conceded 42, and they were able to collect only 12 points from 21 games that they played so far in this league. So we can simply understand that Roma is the better side, and Salernitana they are not doing well. And when we look at the, their previous matches, looking at the last five matches of Roma, they have won two, they have lost two, and they have drawn one. And when we look at the last five matches of Salernitana, they have lost four and they were able to win only one. And looking at the matches that they are playing, they, are not score, they haven't scored you know, two goals in a single game, uh, looking at their past five matches because they are scoring only one goal in a match so i don't think they will be able to score two goals against roma so i just want to go for the specific you know home team goal market individual home game home team goal market for salarantina so home team or salarantina to score under 1.5 goals is my pick for this match and the amount of all for this particular very market is 1.21 and the other match is a match from the France League 2 and it is a match between Bordeaux and Angers. And looking at these two teams, you know, looking at their position in the league table, Angers is in the second place in the league and they have played 21 games and they were able to score 36 points. I mean, 36 goals in these 21 games and they have considered 20 and they have collected 43 points from these 21 games that they played so far in the league. And looking at Bordeaux, they are in the 13th place in the league and they have played 21 games. And they were able to score 24 goals and they have considered 21 and they collected 25 points so far. And, you know, looking at the league table, we can simply understand that Angers, which is the away team, is the better side. And, I'd, I know, uh, looking at the last, you know, five matches of these two teams, you know, we can simply uh, look at their last five matches and Bordeaux have won three and they have lost two. And looking at uh, the away uh, team, which is Angels, they have won three and they have also lost two. So form-wise, these two these two teams are both of these two teams are in a, you know uh, uh, like as in, in a similar form. Uh, and when we look, you know, the last or the most recent match between these two teams, you know, looking at the last two match between these two teams, you know, Angels is the dominant side because looking at the most recent one. The match ended by Angels winning the match by 2-0. And the other match ended by 1-1 draw. So Angels haven't lost a match again as Bordeaux looking at their most recent match between these two teams. So again, I don't think Angels will lose this match in a bigger goal margin. So I just want to go for the handicap market, specifically for the away team, which is for Angels. So to go and to give a handicap of 1.5 goal for the away team for Angels is my pick for this particular game. And the amount, the amount of odd for this particular betting market is 1.26. And the other match is a, a match from the uh, England FA Cup. And it is a match between Blackburn Rovers and Wrexham. And my pick for this match is to go for the double chance market for the home team, specifically for Blackburn Rovers. So uh, Blackburn or home to win or draw is my pick for this particular game. And the amount of all for this market is 1.22. And the other match is a match from the Portugal Premier League. And it is a match between Estherla and Benefica. And my pick for this match is to go for the handicap market and to give a handicap of three goals for the home team, which is for Estherla. And the amount of all for this market is 1.21. And the other match is a match from the Turkey Super League. And it is a match between Trabzonspor and Kaspimsa. And my pick for this match is to go for the goal market, specifically for the individual away team. So our way to score under 1.5 goal is my pick for this particular game. And the amount of all for this market is 1.32. 
And again, the other match is from the Turkey Super League, and it is a match between Galatasaray and Gaziantep. And my pick for this match is, you know, to go for the double market. So my pick is the home team to win and the total amount, of course, to be scored in this match to be over 1.5. And the amount of all for this particular betting market is 1.28. And the other match is a match from the Africa Cup of Nations, and it is a match between Cape Verde and Mauritania. And my pick for this match is to go for the gold market, specifically for the individual whole market, which is for Cape Verde. So Cape Verde to score at least one goal is my, you know, uh, prediction for this match. So home over 0.5 is my pick for this game. And the amount of odd for this particular betting market is 1.29. So these are the 10 games that I prepared for you for today. So pick only the predictions that you argue with. And my suggestion for you is not to pick more than five games from these 10 predictions that I provided, 10 picks that I provided. So pick a maximum of five games because to put more than, you know, five games in a single better sleep or to accumulate more than five games in a single better sleep is risky in my opinion. But if you are willing to take a risk, you can pick any amount of game that you wanted. So this is your boy Mix Soul signing out, my people. I wish you good luck. Signing out. Peace out.